Hello, I am Sai Chandana Koganti and today I am excited to share my research project which is experimental survey of image segmentation models on hematoxin and eosin chain images. I would like to start by thanking my professor for his support throughout this project. The main goal of this research is to find the most effective deep learning models for identifying and segmenting the nuclei, uh, which are complex medical images that are stained with hematoxylin and eosin, also known as HND staining. Uh, for this research, I explored five popular instant segmentation models, which are like mass carcinogen, detectron 2, YOLO B8, YOLO B9, and HooverNet. Along with these models, I also explored two pre-processing techniques and widely used datasets like PanNuke and Nucleus. So yeah. This is the data pre-processing techniques which I have used. Uh, before discussing about the models, I want to explain you about the pre-processing methods which I have applied to improve the image quality. Color normalization will reduce the staining variations in HND and stain images. So the techniques like color deconvolution and histogram matching were used to adjust the images. And the data augmentation step will help to make the data set more diverse. I mean by applying the transformations like rotations, flips, and also like scaling. So these variations makes the model more adaptable. By applying these pre-processing techniques, uh, we were able to boost both the accuracy and consistency among the segmentation models. Now let's look at the models which I have uh, evaluated Ma this is the mass carcinogen model. This is the two stage model. I mean, which is having two stages uh, that uses a ResNet 101 backbone for a deep future extraction. Next, it has a RPN, which is nothing but region proposal network. Uh, it will detect the objects and region of interest will ensures the accurate alignment of the segmented regions. This is about mass carcinogen. And next, this is Jitochrone 2, uh, which is a framework based on mass carcinogen. Uh, but it uses a ResNet 50 backbone uh, with the feature pyramid network for a better detection. Uh, I mean, for better detection across the objects. Next, YOLO V8. So this is known for its speed. This single stage uh, model predicts both bounding boxes and also the uh, segmentation mask. I mean, in one, ma one pass, it, it is able to predict both bounding boxes and segmentation mask. Next, the YOLO family, but other version, which is YOLO V9. This model introduces the enhancements like PGA, programmable gradient information and a reversible function to handle more information. And then last but not the least, which is Hovernet. This model is specialized for dense and also the complex histopathology images. It has a dual branch design uh, for both segmentation and nuclear classification. Now it's time to look at the data sets which I have used, uh, PanNuke and Nucleus. So as I have previously said that Nucleus dataset has over, um, I mean, 220,000 annotated nuclei from breast cancer cells. So it contains high resolution WSIs, I mean, whole slide images, which are split into small patches. So each patch has labeled nuclei and consists of 13 different types of cell types. So Nucleus dataset is nothing but which is having 13 cell types like tumor, fibroblast, and plasma cells. So when it's time to discuss about the PanNuke dataset, uh, this dataset is designed for nuclear segmentation and it has a 205,000 label nuclei. This, this dataset will have 19 tissue types and it is having five cell types like neoplastic, inflammatory, epithelial, soft tissue, and dead cells. And these, uh, actually the models, the five different types of models which have said instant segmentation models which I have chosen for this survey are tested on these two different types of datasets. 
this helped us to see how they perform i mean across different types of cells and also the tissues which gives us a realistic view of their uh, capabilities now we use two types of uh, segmentation approaches uh, with the models like instant segmentation i mean binary instant segmentation and multi class in segmentation in binary instant segmentation uh, as we know that it will focus on only one cell type multi class is like nothing but it will uh, segments and labels multiple cell types in only one image so with nucleus we primarily focused on multi class segmentation in this research because it is having i mean i just wanted to focus only on uh, multi class segmentation with nucleus and it, as i have previously said that it is having 13 cell types while panuc i perform both binary and multi class so uh, this panuc is having 19 tissue types next so yeah this is the overview of the panuc dataset and models which we have used in this study so panuc dataset is having 19 tissue types uh, and which is having five cell types this panuc dataset is undergone with this uh, models uh, mass scar cnn detectron to yolo v8 and hovernet next yeah this is the training process like these are the steps which are common for every uh, every procedure so data preparation model configuration training setup model training validation and evaluation and at last post processing i am going to discuss about the evaluation step because in evaluation we have used different evaluation metrics i am going to discuss about them so these are the evaluation metrics which i have used for my research accuracy precision recall f1 score and iou along with this i also used ap and map average precision mean average precision also so these metrics provided a comprehensive view of each model strengths and also weakness now yeah this is the visualization of a single class instant segmentation Uh, which is performed on only with panuc dataset like in this i have used mass scar cnn and electron to yolo v8 and yolo v9 but it is only with panuc dataset and the evaluation metrics which i have used are ap and map i mean average precision mean average precision now this is uh, like multi class instant segmentation but with both nucleus and panuc dataset so here i have used a mass scar cnn detectron to yolo v8 yolo v9 and also the hovernet uh, with uh, different types of evaluation metrics you can have a look of this now so finally in multi class on uh, particularly in panuc dataset uh, multi class segmentation hovernet performed the best across all the metrics so you can see here multi class segmentation i have highlighted how it performed the best across all the metrics in binary segmentation uh, yolo v8 shows the strongest results especially for neoplastic uh, cell uh, when i dis when i want to discuss about this uh, nucleus data set yolo v8 achieved the high precision Uh, and mass scar cnn was effective for inflammatory cell type while detectron 2 well was excelled with neoplastic cell types so these results shows that each model has its strengths depending upon the task so which makes it um, to choose the right model based on the specific needs and pathology mm, yep so you can see this visualization of results uh these are like multi class um so you can see that these are like multi class instant segmentation uh, which are performed with nucleus dataset and panuc dataset here n1 n2 n3 are like n4 uh, are like with um, n1 represents mass scar cnn n2 represents detectron 2 n3 lo v8 
and for yellowvinite these are all uh, related to nucleus data set whereas p1 p2 are like ma p1 represents mass carcinogen and p2 represents ovonet which are related to pan nuc data set <laughs> yep and next i am going to show you the visual visualization of a pan nuc data set which are performed only with uh, like which are mainly related to single instance segmentation Mm, here, mass carcinogen detected on to YOLO V8 and YOLO V9 models are explored. So you you can see that these are the regions uh, which are like detected one, and this is the original mask of the image, the original image. So these are the single classes, uh, class types that are segment. I mean, segmented. Mm, so AG is nothing but the cell type. Tissue type C is nothing but the cell type. So in adrenal gland, connective cell type, this is the mask, original mask, and these are the predicted mask. Here BD is nothing but AG, BD, uh, BR, LF, LBR. These are the labeled tissue types. C, N, I, E are like uh, cell types. And then so this is all about the uh, explanation of single instance segmentation uh, to conclude this research shows that importance of choosing the right model and applying the effective pre-processing techniques so our findings can help um, researchers in selecting the best model for specific diagnostic task mm, so as a gra i mean graduate research assistant for my professor, Dr. Sangunli, I am truly grateful for his guidance and suggestions. I would also like to thank Department of CCSC for hosting this C-Day. Thank you for your time.